Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and thank you for coming along with me again today as I am organizing another cabinet in my kitchen. And I'm focusing on my pots and pans over the next two days. And so I'm going to cut this video into two parts. Today, we're gonna focus on this cabinet here and we're gonna focus on the baking dishes and pans. And then in the second video, I'll focus on all of the pots. And so let me stop talking so that you and I can get to work. Okay friends, this is the cabinet where I keep all of my baking pans, such as the cake pans and all the lasagna dishes and the things that I use when I'm cooking that casserole or baking that cake. And it really needs to be decluttered. Some things have snuck in here that really need to find a new home. And so the time is now to hit the reset button with this cabinet. And that's the thing about home organization. You know, you can't just organize it one time and expect it to stay the same. It just does not happen because you live in your space. You know, you have holidays, you know, your friends comes up and bakes a cake and her pan accidentally gets into your cabinet or you buy a new pan and you don't realize well you know what it's starting to be too much and so today it's about resetting this cabinet taking things out giving it a nice clean down assessing what I have and then rebuilding it with the new organization to function for me now because how I functioned four years ago may not be how I function today and so I need to really go in and see what I have and when I look back here and I'm unpacking I see that I have all this stuff in the back and I don't even know I have it because it's not really organized in a, a way that really makes it functional for me. Along with, it's things that I probably don't use, so why would I let it take up real estate in my kitchen? So I rather would have just the things that I need and then beautifully organize them so that it's easy to grab and get to because it's the stuff that I need and the stuff that I use. Okay, so now that everything is out, the cabinet is clean, I'm going to take the opportunity to reline this cabinet. It's been some years since it's been lined, and so I'm going to give it a refresh. And I would recommend that when you clean out your cabinets, you know, look at the liner, see if it needs a refresh. It really can change the whole vibe of the cabinet and really just bring it to life and really give it a fresh new look. And so that's what I did here, and it feels good just having the fresh liner in there. And so I'm really happy that I got this do done and that the cabinet is clean. So because when I was taking everything out, I did realize that a lot of things were placed in the back and that's not convenient for me. The two top shelves here, they pull out, they're convenient, the bottom or not. So that's why I am going to use one of these shelves. I went to go try to use both of them, but then, you know, after I got in, and this is the thing, you wanna play around with things. I, you know, it really did not function for me. So sometimes we can look at organizers and think, oh, that will bring us a lot of function. But realistically, it doesn't in this situation because it is blocking more than it's helping me if I use both of them. Now using one of them will be perfect for me, but I need one of those drawers to really stay open for my needs, you know, but the fact that they're pull out are great because I'm not having to dig back in a cabinet so I can use this full cabinet here and put things in the back and easily get to them. So I'm gonna keep one of these and then I'm going to take the other one off um, of the other shelf and not utilize that one because I really don't need it. So I am going to use one of my favorite organizers and you all know I get this from Target. And by the way, I'll list um, in the description box the things that I use that I can find. So definitely check that whenever you're looking for anything that I'm sharing in my videos. But this right here is kind of a pan sorter and I love that it's spaced nicely because I think this is actually going to be perfect for my pie dishes. I have um, a good bit of pie dishes because during the holidays and when I usually entertain and have guests, I cook more than one type of pie or I'll have more than one type of pie. So that, you know, I definitely want to hold on to all of my pie dishes because they are something that I use. And I thought this would be perfect to store them. So instead of stacking them, I would just have them kind of sitting up in this rack. And I am not going to use that space behind there because I am not going to be digging, not on the bottom shelf. I have two pullouts and then I'm going to arrange things at the bottom so that it's efficient. So here are my baking dishes that I am keeping because these are the ones that are my go-tos. These are the ones that I'm using 
using. This is my huge pan that I use during the holidays or for macaroni and cheese when I have guests. These are my pie dishes. These are definitely used when I'm making those pies. Also my loaf pans here. And you know, a lot, not all of them, but I can't tell you which ones. I know the loaf pan I got in the UK in Sainsbury. It's a grocery store over there, but they have the neatest pots and pans and things like that. I used to love going there grocery shopping because it was just like such a treat. It was like a grocery store with the home goods in it, it kind of a setup, but I loved it. So as far as my pans, they're gonna go, like my sheet pans and muffin pans and things like that, I transition them all over here, and you'll notice that I separate them to one side and the other side. That way it's easy to get the sheet pan when I need it. So these are all my specialty pans, and I love how this is arranged. I can easily just kind of get to the ones I need. I don't use these every day, but I am going to be using the new ones, and I definitely use my muffin pans, and I have two of those. So those are organized, and I'm happy with that. Now this is the stash that was in there that I am not happy with, and this stuff is getting packed up into my little stash. It's going over to my little store that I showed you guys in a previous video that we're holding for our family to come up and kind of shop the things that we've moved away from our home. So this is going in their stash for them to have at it, and then whatever they don't want, I'm gonna go ahead and donate. And so these just do not have a space in my home anymore. I don't use them. I already have a set, so it's duplication. And as you live in your home, this is what tends to happen. This is the perfect example. You know, when you have holidays and well, you know, as you're shopping and things and bringing stuff into your house, you can start to have duplicates. And it's amazing, all of this was taking up valuable real estate in my cabinet. And it was just ridiculous. And so this definitely needed to go. And it, it amazes me that it doesn't take long for this to happen. So if you're in your home for 30 years, can you imagine if you go into that cabinet what you're going to find? So now let's reset the organization in our cabinet here. I'm putting my glass baking dishes in here and these I use. So I'm definitely keeping these. And so these are ones that I bake that chicken in or kind of what I use for everyday use. These are my loaf pans. I use these all the time, not all the time, but when I make my meatloaf and things like that. And then I'm going to put all of my cake pans on this back side here. This is like uh, my pan, my tart pans and my foam pan and all of my cake pans and things like that. I'm going to stack them neatly here. And that way, whenever I need one, I simply pull out the drawer and I know that all these are all of my cake pans. And so you'll notice from the stash, I had duplicates. Now this pan is probably older than I am. It was given to me by my mom. When I make a pound cake, I can only make it in this pan. She says if I make them in any other pan, it's not gonna turn out right. So I follow her directive on it. And so she said, never get rid of this pan. And so this is an important pan to my kitchen. And so this is also going to be housed with the cake pans. And then you'll remember from uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a Pampered Chef haul of the things I got. This was one of the pans. So it's replacing, it's an upgrade from my previous one. And so I have a new plan pan that's replacing it. And that's the thing, when you go through through and you assess your cabinets, things that need to be replaced, go ahead and either write a list and keep a list of the things you want to replace or go ahead and replace them, you know, so that you know that you have a well-functioning kitchen. Now, friends, one thing that you will notice about the organization here is that I put my white porcelain bakeware towards the front. And then I have my baking pan stacked in the back, my glass um, baking dishes in the back because they are disruptive to the eye. And so what I do is I try to arrange it so that all of it's easy to get to because my drawers pull out. But when you look in the cabinet, it looks very simplified and clean because of the placement. Now, my pie dishes are going into their new home. They're easy to get to now. And then also that big lasagna pan is going on the bottom and then the other one on the top and I'm stacking the family together, but they're still all easy to get to when I need it. And so instead of just stacking all of them together, I broke up that large pan because it is quite heavy. And so it's easy to have it to have its own home. And so look how neat it looks when you look, but I still have the function of getting to everything I needed. And I made that decision to change up and not use the back of my bottom of my cabinet, but it doesn't make a difference. I literally have 
what I need in my bakeware now. And so that is what's important. So just because we have the space, it doesn't mean we need to fill up the space. We need the function and we need the beauty. And when I look in here now and I wanna bake a cake, I can go right here, all of my cake pans are right here. I can easily get to them and they're tucked away. If I want to make a big lasagna, that big pan, I don't have to lift all of the other pans out, get to my large lasagna pan. So friends, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you. Please click that subscribe button along with the like bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a video. And if you enjoyed this video, please, before you leave, click that like button. It really helps me out and helps me know what to share with you. Definitely, I'll come back to share the pots portion of this video. Definitely, I am excited about doing that cabinet also. Have a beautiful day, my friends. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.